The aim of number line golfs is to take turns to select cards and be the first person to get the ball in the hole or to be the closest person to the hole when all the cards run out. So I'll just demonstrate quickly. So if green shows a nine, they get to cross off the nine here. Now no one can use that. And then purple would have their shot. Now remember, if the game ends in a draw, the person who picked a 10 loses the game. So there's some incentive not to pick the 10. So now the green person might pick, say, a six. So they move to 15, which means the purple person knows they need a five to win. So if they're smart, they'll pick the five, which means neither player can win next turn. Now green's looking at maybe some of the cards left and they think, well, maybe if I go from 15 to 22, I go past the hole by picking the seven, then I can win. And again, purple has to respond by taking the two, otherwise green will win. And now green's getting to a point where they think, well, maybe if I can leave the purple with an eight, that'll get them a long way away from the hole at the end of the game. So they might start thinking about doing that. So green's going to pick a three and go backwards three, because remember, you can hit the ball forwards or backwards the distance that you've chosen. And now purple can either pick a one or a four, I mean, they could pick an eight now and then try to work backwards. And maybe they would even do that because they know that they're going to get stuck. But then let's just do that. So they'll pick the eight and go to 25. And now green's got a decision where they pick a four and go to 23. And that'll win them the game. So they'll do that. So they'll take the four, even though it's not in their best interest. Actually, they can just win with the one. Don't worry. They'll just take the one and win the game. But they could also have won by taking the four and going past the hole to here and then the one would have been the only card left for purple, which would have ended them on 24. So the lovely thing about this is you can scaffold it by playing a game on positive numbers. So it's zero to 20 and then past 20 or negative numbers. So the negatives represent how far you've got to go to the hole and then how far past the hole you've gone. And the game will work exactly the same way. So if you pick a nine, you still move to that spot. But in this case, it's minus 11 because you're 11 positions away from the hole now. And so it's a great scaffold to introduce negative numbers to kids, even kids as young as second and third grade, because what you're doing is the exact same work, but just on a different worksheet. This will help your learners transfer what they know about positive numbers to negatives. You can download this activity at thinksquared.com.au slash golf. Otherwise, for hundreds more rich activities and games like this, check out the MathsMate textbooks.